1920s and 30s. At that particular period of time, there was more traditional music preserved on commercial phonograph records at any other time in the history of recordings. The records were made on a base of clay and different types of shellac and pressed uh, most of the uh, records uh, from the major companies like Columbia and Victor were very high quality recordings, although the buyers of the records heard very little of what actually was recorded due to the fact they were playing them on crude acoustical uh, wind-up Victrolas. What a whale of a record. Ah, welcome to Maryland. <laughs> I first met Joe two years ago. I was in there to do a story on him. And you never forget when you go in his basement for the first time because it's like going into another world. Not only was the music loud, you know, the smoke was thick. He was dancing. It was hard to even get a line on what was going on. And after I got to know him more, you, you sense the real aesthetic theory behind all that enthusiasm. And when I first interviewed him on the phone, I had to hold the phone about here because that's how excited he was to get a call. And this is probably two years ago. And just from that phone conversation, I knew this guy is different than the other collectors I'd talked to. There's something going on here. And I think his collection is, is such that it's almost been uh, whittled down to the jewels. I mean, he just doesn't have a lot of junk. Uh, a lot of people have a lot of records, but he's got a lot of good ones.